Hi, in this lab, we are going to do some basic subnetting for an IPv4 network. So before we begin, we examine the question given over here. The network address given is actually 192.168.10.0 slash 24. So we are going to subnet this network into smaller subnets using this diagram over here. So let's examine this network over here we have actually two routers R1 and R2 so using these two routers as a guide we can actually draw two bubbles the green bubble represent one subnet and the purple bubble to represent the second subnet so in this question we actually can divide the network into two subnets so let's write down the answer over here we can have two subnets in the network okay let's continue to the next part of the question so how many bits should you borrow in order to create the required number of subnets okay so how many bits should you borrow so looking at this let's go over to our table over here we can actually need number of subnets we need is 2 so how do we know how many bits to support we can use the formula 2 to the power of n equals okay so in this case 2 to the power n where n is the number of subnet bits to borrow okay so this is the n that we want to know so how do we know the number n so let's put the 2 to the power of n equals to 2 okay so we know that 2 is actually equals to 2 to the power 1 so that means therefore n is equals to 1 okay so we need to borrow we need to borrow total of one bit from the host portion okay so that means the answer over here is one we need to borrow one bit so let's go on to part c how many usable host addresses we can have in this addressing scheme okay in order to examine the number of host addresses we take note that we use one bit for the number of subnets so let's continue over here so we have one bit for the for the subnet so if we examine the subnet mass we have so far so our subnet mass is actually 255.255.255. point point something okay so what's that something over here so in order to derive that something let's split this um, the last byte into the separate binary bits okay so we know that we will borrow one bit for the network so let's represent this by n and we are going to use the remaining for our hosts So that means we can actually have a total of 7 bits for the hosts. Okay, so 7 bits for the hosts, what we need to do is we will actually use these 7 bits to calculate the number of usable host addresses. So how do we do it? So what we need to do is we use the formula 2 to the power of h minus 2 okay so in this case h is the number of host bits so of hosts bits okay so what we need to do is let's put this into the formula 2 to the power of 7 minus 2 so what we'll get is 1 to 8 minus 2 so we'll have one two six so this is the number of hosts ok 
okay so 126 is our total number of host addresses we can have in each subnet so let's write the answer over here so in this case our answer is 126 okay so let's try to find out the new subnet mask for our network so the new subnet mask for our network is actually seen in part C already so what we have seen so far is this is the subnet mask for the last bit so what we just need to do is we will actually translate this into the subnet mask so for each of the network bit what we need to do is we are going to represent the network bit by 1 the host bit by 0 okay so this is our binary number for the last octet so converting this binary number into a decimal number so this is a binary number if we want to convert this into a decimal number what we'll get is actually multiply this number the first digit over here by 128 okay so since the rest are all zeros so the final answer for the decimal version of this binary number is 128 so the final subnet mask for this part is actually 255.255.255.128 okay so this is our subnet mask for this network so let's write that down 255.255.255.255 one two eight okay so let's continue to answer the last question how many subnets are available for future use okay so that means how many subnets are unused in the first place so let's take a look at this one so if we actually use up the two subnets for this question we do not have any more remaining subnets available so the available subnets is actually zero after we have completed the questions in step one we can proceed to fill up the addressing table in step two so what we need to do is we will actually fill in the numbers for this step two over here so let's begin with the subnet address so in this case uh, if you recall the subnet address given on top is actually 192.168.10.0/24 so we will put that down as our subnet address 192.168.10.0 so that is the first subnet address of the subnet 0 so the first usable host address is actually the next address coming up 192.168.10.1 okay so the last usable host address how do we know what is the last usable host address so in this case we have to look at our answer for the top in each part C in each of the subnet we can actually have total of 126 usable host addresses so what we need to do is our answer for the part last usable host address is actually 192.168.10.126 okay so how do I get 126 is because of this we have actually 0 over here plus the total number of subnets available is actually the total number of addresses per subnet is actually 126 so this is equals to 126 over here okay so we can continue to answer the last part for the first subnet 0 192.168.10.127 okay so that's the addresses given for subnet 0 we can continue to fill up the rest for subnet number 1 okay we can use the next available address 192.168.10.128 the first usable address is 192.168 point 10 point 129 and so on 
Okay, the last usable host address. Again, we come to this question over here. How do we find the last usable host address? So we know that the subnet address over here is 128. And we know that the number of addresses in each subnet is actually 126. So the final answer is actually 2, 4, 2, 5, okay so this is your final answer over here 254 so let's put this inside 192.168.10.254 and the broadcast address will be 192.168.10.255 so that is the addressing table for this network A